Welcome! We are doing today the Spooky Would You Rather tag uh -huh. created by the book pusher and you can find her video below. Yes! We haven't planned our answers so we're just gonna do it off the cuff. Yeah. I'm Jessica. And I'm Christina. And you're watching Game, Game of, of Tongues. Let's get started. Question number one. Yes. Would you rather? Thrillers or Supernaturals? Supernatural. I was gonna say thrillers. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. I think I like fewer thriller books. I actually have noticed, like, the more thrillers I'm reading, the less I like them. Yeah. But if something was, like, I would gravitate towards the thrillers, because I'm just I want between that the thriller. two. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I like supernatural stuff. Yeah. Two. Ghosts or zombies? Ghosts. Do we should do it, like, each oh, one. Sorry. Like, all at once. <laughs> I was gonna say zombies. <laughs> I figured that you would because you like Walking Dead and stuff. I do like The Walking Dead. I just don't really find zombies as scary as I would something ghost-wise or supernatural. Um, mm -hmm. I understand that. And I too think that ghosts are scarier. Yeah. And maybe that's why I'm saying <laughs> zombies. <laughs> Oh, good point, yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking of this as, like, a book I would want to read about. Me too. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, for sure. <laughs> uh, I I like zombie stuff. Yeah. And it's scary, but I don't, I'm not, like, afraid that something's gonna come and murder me in my sleep. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. yeah. And see, that's the thing, is, like, if I read a good ghost story, yeah. I'll, like, think about sounds I hear in my house, yeah. you know, and I can't, it just freaks me out too much, but, like, I want to be freaked out, yeah. you know, but I, I don't, but I do. Uh-huh. All right, number three, vampires or werewolves? Ooh, I have my answer. Me too. One, two, three, vampires. vampires. Yay! Yay! <laughs> uh, that's our first agreement, isn't it? Yeah, I vampires. just, I don't know. I they're like cool. the storyline of vampires yeah. better. And they're fashionable. I mean, I like werewolves, but I feel like also, like, teen werewolf and things like that. I haven't seen many werewolf things that I have enjoyed. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Except for maybe, you know, vampires be werewolves. Yeah. In Twilight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, vampires are Yeah, cool. I agree. Uh, yeah. All right. Number four. Witches or demons? Okay, I got this. One, two, three. Demons. Witches. Dang. <laughs> I'm just going for, like, the things that freak me out the most. Uh-huh. I don't know. I just gravitate to, like, I want to be freaked out, but I don't. Mm -hmm. And the idea of, like, demons, are they real or are they not? It's just something that, like, guarantee will freak me out. Like, yeah. period. Uh, well, I enjoy witch stories. Witches can be very different. Yeah. And there are some witches that you want to be, and then there are some witches that scare you, but they have, like, a cool aesthetic and, um... Yeah, I just like witches. Yeah. Okay. Number five. Would you rather read a book with 13 chapters or read a book with a black cat on the cover? Okay, I'm going to answer. 13 chapters or black cat. Yeah. Uh, okay. One, two, three, black 13 cat. chapters. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think cats are pretty. Yeah. And I would like to have a beautiful black cat on the cover of my book. I do not care about the number 13. It does not bother me, nor um, do black cats. I'm not very superstitious. I, I own a black cat. She's an outside cat. Mm -hmm. But I kind of went with uh, the cover of a black cat. Like, I don't want it to be some, like, cheesy kind of thing. No, of course. And something with 13 chapters could be, like, anything. So, yeah. I'd probably just, like, I'm judging by its cover. Okay. Is what's going on right now. In my mind, it was a cool black cat on the cover. I was picturing, like, the old-style horror like, cartoon. novels oh, yeah. with, like, the arch back. No. <laughs> no. You're picturing more, like, the artistic. Yeah. <laughs> okay, number six. Would you rather read a spooky book in the dark with only a candle for light or by yourself in a locked, brightly lit room? Oh, gosh. One, two, three, brightly lit room. <laughs> I, and see, that's the distinction point for me, though, is, uh -huh. like, if I'm getting kind of spooked out by a book, I want it to be bright. Yeah. Like, I still want to read it, but I don't want to be in the dark. Mm -hmm. And you being locked in the room doesn't bother you so much? Well, I mean, yeah, that's kind of a downside, but, <laughs> like, 
It, you could also probably be alone with just a candle, and that's worse. Mm, it, it would be scary. Yeah, it would. And that's why I think, I think the ambiance sounds really cool. It does for, like, the first half of the book. Yeah. And then I want to be with the lights on. Okay. <laughs> can I, can I do that? Can I do sure, both? I mean, whatever. <laughs> no, you can't do both. Okay. You chose. Number seven. Would you rather face your worst fears or be trapped in the mind of a killer? In a book. Uh, uh, that one's really hard because this like, is a really hard one. I don't like being trapped in the mind of a killer, and that's probably my worst fear. So, <laughs> my worst fear was like I was thinking like losing my family and the ones I love. And no, stuff. yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like a, a killer yeah. coming. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we just skip this one? No, <laughs> we have to choose. Um. They're kind of the same thing. I think so. In my mind, they are. Because... Okay. Okay. All right. I, I have an answer. Okay. I don't really, but I'll just choose one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> one, two, three. Trapped in the mind of a killer. Trapped in the mind of a killer is what I was going to say. <laughs> Simply because my worst fears are like my worst fears. And if I was trapped in the mind of a killer, like, it has to end at some point. And, I mean, if it's a book, I'd just DNF it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Can I say that? Yeah. <laughs> I just, the thing about uh, being trapped in the mind of killers mm -hmm. that terrifies me is just their lack of empathy and their yeah. lack of conscience. Yes. That, to me, is more disturbing than yes. the act themselves that they do or anything like that. It's just the fact that, like, to be in the mind of a killer with no compassion or anything, that is what is more terrifying. Me too. And I just, I don't know. That's a, that's a terrible question. <laughs> <laughs> that's a really hard one. That's, yeah. I don't want to do either one of those. Uh-uh. Good thing this is just a game. Yeah, I'm like, we're taking this too serious. I think we are. <laughs> <laughs> Next. Okay. <laughs> Number eight. Would you rather watch a scary movie or read a scary book? One, two, three, Book. watch a scary movie. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I like, I enjoy scary movies, but I haven't watched them in a super long time. Yeah. Because my husband doesn't really enjoy them. Mm -hmm. And now that I'm a mom, I enjoy them way less. <laughs> yeah. Way, way less. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, I don't know. So I, I think I, in a scary like, book, you spend a lot longer time in that scary world than you would... That's a good point. ...watching the movie. Yeah. And, um, you know, the movie's only two hours. Reading a book could be... Days. So, yeah. I'd rather just, you know, get my thrills and then get out of there. Yeah, that's a good point because uh, even after, like... If you put it down for the night, you're just, like, thinking about it and thinking about and it. And you gotta pick it up And again. if you watch a scary movie, you can just turn around and watch some, like, cartoon or something, you yeah. know? Yeah. Yeah. Pocahontas or <laughs> the Trolls movie is really cute. I haven't seen that. Trolls movie? No. It's on Netflix. Okay. You can watch it. It's really cute. Yeah. All right. Okay. Number nine. Mm -hmm. Would you rather read spooky books during the fall time or all year? I have my answer. Okay. One, two, three... Fall time. Fall time. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I keep doing it like right after you. I don't mean to. Oh, uh, fall, fall time. time. What you, yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I was going to say. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> I enjoy spooky books, but I think, like you had said about ambiance, I think yeah. it really does set it the adds tone. To something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. And I think I get more spooked out mm -hmm. in the fall time yeah. versus like if it's summertime, like when it doesn't get dark till after eight and I'm just like sitting outside reading. Like, yeah. It's not really that scary. Yeah. Yeah. Agreed. I agree. You agree with yourself? <laughs> <laughs> is this the last one? This is the last yeah. one. Number 10. Would you rather read 10 spooky books in October or 10 spooky books all year? I think that's the same question, just different. Kind of. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. So then in October. Yeah. 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 Okay. I mean, again, I like spooky books, but... Ambiance. Ambiance. It's important. Okay, so we're gonna tag two people. Technically three. People. three. 
Two channels. Two channels. Okay. We're gonna tag Cat and Han over at Brews and Reviews. Awesome. And we're gonna tag Joshana C. And you can find both their channels linked below. You should totally check them out if you haven't already. That's right. When you play the game of tomes, you read or you die. Come be our friends. Social media links in the description below. And we hope you're reading a spooky book. Ooh, bye. Bye. Ooh. Ooh. It's supposed to rain like all week too. Rude.